Howdy folks, so I got the opportunity to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I do have it, uh, I got it for Christmas, uh, instead of getting it on launch, because I was holding off to get Super Mario RPG, a game which I adore, and I wanted to give my overall thoughts on the game, I still haven't beaten it yet, but, um, this year I've played four pretty decent games, you know, Sonic Superstars, Super Mario RPG, Alien Hominid Invasion, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And there's a reason why Wonder is last on the list. I was disappointed. This is coming from a guy who is named after my favorite Mario character of all time, the Koopa Troopa. And I was disappointed. Now let me talk about what the game does right now. I don't have any gameplay, so I, I apologize for that, but it, it is what it is. I'd rather just talk about it than showcase gameplay, because there's there's any number of channels you can get with gameplay, and my, uh, my standard Switch has seen better days, so I'm trying not to uh, use it too much. But my thing with Super Mario Bros. Wonder is it looks great. It's got the best character roster yet. I don't mind the new voice actor for Mario and Luigi. My biggest issue with Super Mario Bros. Wonder is it was exactly what I was afraid it was going to be. Another 2D Mario, but... They've mixed up so many things that it's lost its essence. It's lost the essence of what makes a 2D Mario game fun, in my opinion. Now, for some people, this isn't the case. Some people say, well, that that sense of, lack of a better term, wonder from the classical series and the new series is still there. But I would disagree. You now have a badge system, which allows you to mix and match abilities. You know, you can't just gain abilities and have them. You have to mix and match them with badges, or you have to rather pick and select which ones you want for a given level. And that does admittedly add replayability to levels. But my problem is, is that it makes it gimmicky. As opposed to your characters just having these abilities, they had to take it a step further. You have to be able to, to uh, pick and choose your abilities. Because some abilities turn out to be pretty OP in certain levels. The levels themselves, that's another thing. The levels themselves are unimpressive. You know, the addition of the, uh, what is it, the Wonder Flower, doesn't do anything. It, it, it just feels gimmicky, and they're trying to add in more... They're, they're trying to add in more replayability to it, but they're also trying to add in more 3D game elements, like more things to collect... You've got, a, you've got a whole different set of coins now. I don't know what they're called. I think they're... What are they? Wonder coins? I think everything is wonder, or... Because it's a flower kingdom, is it not? Prince, Prince Florian, the uh, caterpillar thing? That's with you? I mean, they're trying desperately to do something different. And that's fine, okay? You can do different things. I, I'm not opposed to different. But... They did too much different at once, in my opinion. They did way too much different. Not only that, but it feels... Does anybody else feel like this game is easier than the entire New Super Mario Bros. series? New Super Mario Bros. is easy, but it's it's easy in the sense that once you've learned how to play it, it's a breeze. There are still difficult levels in that in those series of games. In this, it feels like there's so many difficulty options. Three of your characters are locked behind an easy difficulty. You can't get power-ups with, with any of the Yoshis or Nabbit. And you only die when you fall into pits or hazards. But you don't die from enemies. So a boss can't kill you effectively, if I'm understanding it right. I went to play as Yoshi because I'm like, oh great, this is cool, you play as Yoshi. Wait, Yoshi's easy mode? What? It, it just was frustrating. It was really frustrating to me because I would like to play with those characters in a standard way. But unfortunately, you can't anymore. Because they're locked behind an uh, easier difficulty. I was disappointed by this game, guys. Like, I, I haven't... I put it down. I haven't played it for at least a day or two. I just haven't felt the need. That's, that's how let down I was by this game. I, it just... It's not the worst game I've ever played. Like I said, I love it visually. The story is... Nah. Bowser's a castle. Nah. So what? But I'm not impressed. 
Whereas with 2D Marios, I love them better than 3D Marios. But this one has the same effect that Mario Odyssey had on me. In fact, most of my complaints about Mario Odyssey could, could apply to this game. All look and very little substance. The, the substance is missing. And I know some of you are going to disagree with that. Fair enough. If you enjoyed the game, I'm not here to bash you for enjoying the game. I'm not here to tell you you're wrong for enjoying the game. Because I understand Mario is fun. This game still has fun. But to me, it's less fun than the new Super Mario Brothers series. It's too different. It's too gimmicky. I love the visuals. I like the look of the levels. I'm not exactly a fan of their design so far, but then again, I'm only on the third world. And that's the other thing is I feel like I'm breezing through the worlds quicker. Whereas with New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, it took a while to get through the worlds, it felt. Whereas with this game, it's just like, boom, done. Boom, done. Even the first major boss, the first Bowser Jr. encounter was really kind of pathetic. I was not impressed by this one, and the funny thing is I don't see too many people on YouTube or anywhere else talking about being disappointed with this game. So I know I'm an outlier. I know that I'm my opinion on this is not going to be popular, and this hurts me as a Mario fan, just like it hurt me to say basically the same thing about Super Mario Odyssey, which is that I didn't like it that much. I probably liked Odyssey less than I like this. This I'll play through till the end. Odyssey I played through till the end at least two or three times. I... I did a Let's Play on Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know if it's still up on the channel or not, or if that was my old channel, but this one didn't do it for me. And I already thought, based on all the promotions on the Direct they did, that it wasn't going to do it for me. But I was just kind of hoping I'd be proven wrong once I actually played it. No, it turns out that um, I should have went with my first instinct. I don't regret having it. I'm going to have it, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to enjoy it, it's a part of Mario history. But I don't enjoy it as much as the games that came before it. People, Some people were saying that this was the best 2D Mario since Super Mario World, and I'm thinking, have you not played a 2D Mario since Mario World? Or like, Are you out of your mind? First of all, Super Mario World is the gold standard for me, I think that that game is infinitely replayable. If not just to try and speed run it in the most organic way possible. I think it's just a fun game with a great presentation, and it's very simple. There are some levels that I could do without in the original Super Mario World, but it's still a fantastic game. Whereas with Super Mario Bros. Wonder, the further I get, the less I want to play. Levels, it feels very hand-holdy, way more than any Mario game that came before. Way more. It holds your hand way too much. I'm not saying it needs to be NES difficult. I mean, if you want that, then play uh, the original Mario 2, a.k.a. Lost Levels, or play Mario 3. No, I'm fine with the lower difficulty, but I'm not fine with all of the constant hand-holding. Are people that bad at platformers that they need th four characters that effectively can't die to enemies? Is that Are people that bad at platformers now? If that's the case, then I, I hate this current generation. I, I hate... Uh, it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. People should be able to learn through difficulty. There's a level of difficulty that is acceptable. Not everything needs to be NES difficult or Dark Souls. I understand this. But a fair difficulty. And there are difficult levels in this game, but it still feels very hand-holdy. Very hand-holdy. And I'm just not a fan of that. I'm really not. So, if I had to rate Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. It's playable. It looks good. Sounds good. Although, it, it doesn't entirely sound good. Some of the sound effects, they change too. And I don't like the changes to the sound effects. It's not great. I feel like we're entering into the era where Nintendo's standards of quality are going to start to dip. That's my fear. That with the next generation, we're not going to get as much quality as we've been getting because so many um, legacy developers have probably left the company. So we're getting in a new generation of developers, and they, they don't quite get it. They don't quite get it. If something is to happen to Shigeru Miyamoto, we're going to see... Oh, boy. I dread the day. I dread the day. 
I'll obviously make a video when he passes talking about his legacy and all of that, but I do dread the day. I sincerely dread the day. So those are my thoughts on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Like I said, I, I don't think it's the worst Mario I've ever played, but I'm not thrilled by it. And I wasn't thrilled by it initially. I was like, eh, this, this feels too much. This feels too gimmicky. And that's exactly what I feel about it. It's too gimmicky, not a big fan of the level designs, and it feels too hand-holdy in places. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Super Koopa TV. I will see you all next time. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.